My name is Frank Mazzella. I'm the Learning Products Manager for Vision Research. I'm here to present a series of PCC Phantom Camera Control software tutorials intended to show you many of the various features and processes incorporated in PCC. At the end of this Cine Analysis Part 8 Manually Tracking Collect Points tutorial, you will be able to manually track up to 99 points per image, sort and optimize their position, their XY coordinate from an origin point, their speed, and or their acceleration as a comma separated text limited report file that can be imported and viewed by third party software packages such as Microsoft Excel. Using the PCC 2D analysis tool essentially turns your phantom camera into an extremely effective test instrument. However, you don't need a camera connected to the PCC software to perform measurements on your Cine files. Just as I did in the Cine Analysis Part 2 Coordinate Measurements tutorial, the first thing I need to do is specify the units of measure. The units our measurements are going to report as. For this tutorial, I'm going to set the distance unit to inches, the speed unit to inches per second, the acceleration unit to feet per second per second, the angle unit to degrees, and the angular speed unit to degrees per second. Since the calibration scale I'll specify shortly needs to be unique for the files I'm using in these tutorials, I need to leave the application preferences unique scale application option disabled. For details on using this feature, to apply a scale to multiple Cine files, review the Cine Analysis Part 2 Coordinate Measurements tutorial. When the application preferences Auto Advance to Next Image during Collect Points option is enabled or checked, it instructs the software to advance the Cine to the next image once all the points being tracked on an image have been set. Since I'm manually going to track the specified points, I want to enable this option. The Auto Update Graphics during Collect Points option, when enabled, instructs the software to overlay and update a line graph to each of the points being tracked, which you will see later in this tutorial. With all the measurement preferences defined, I'll click the OK button. Just as I did in the Reviewing Your First Cine tutorial, I'm going to open the Cine I want to perform measurements on. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the Car Crash 3 file. And as I did in the Cine Analysis Part 2 Coordinate Measurements tutorial, I'm going to apply some image processing techniques to ease the tracking process. I'm going to remove all the color saturation from the images and apply the Edge High Pass 5x5 Edge Detection algorithm, then close the Image Tools window. I could, if I wanted to, disable the Smooth Zoom algorithm that's applied to the Cine images to help pinpoint the specified pixels I want to use to specify the points being tracked. However, for demonstration purposes, I don't need the measurement calculations to be quite that accurate. Remember, each pixel I'm off by during the measurement process will offset by a scale value, which I will calibrate in a minute for every pixel I'm off by. I will, however, select to zoom the Cine images two times its size by selecting it from the Zoom pull-down selection list. In order for the software to perform any calculations, I need to specify a measurement scale using the calibration process described in the Cine Analysis Part 2 Coordinate Measurements tutorial. To do this, I need to locate a known scale on the image. Then click the Calibrate button under the Measurement selector and mark the two ends of the known scale. In this example, I'm going to use the two targets on the body of the car. In the Set Gauge window, I'll enter the size of the scale, in this case 2 inches, and click the OK button. Notice the software displays the calibrated scale results. The next thing I need to do is set a new origin. By default, the origin point is the very first pixel of the image, the pixel located in the upper left hand corner of the full image. I'll do this by clicking on the Set Origin button in the Axis area. 
Then I'll click on the point in the image where I want the new origin to be set. In this case, the center of the larger target on the car door. To verify that the new origin point was set, I'll need to enable or check the Show option in the Access area for a brief moment. As you can see, the software displays a blue cross over the image. Where the lines intersect is the origin. Since I won't need to see the origin to track points, I'll disable the Show option. And just in case I want to do a quick coordinate measurement, I'll enable the coordinate in inches option. To track points, the next step is to click the dot 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 button to the right of the report file path data field. I'll navigate to the folder I want the report file to be written into when the open dialog window is displayed. For this report, I'm going to place an open report file in the C colon program files Phantom Cines Tutorial Cines folder. I also need to assign a name to the report file, so I'm going to call the report Collect Points and click the Open button. Now I need to tell the software how many points I'm going to track. The software can track up to 99 points per image. For this tutorial, I'm going to track two points per image. So I'll enter a 2 in the PPF, or Points Per Frame, Data Entry field, and hit the Enter key. Next, I need to activate the Collect Points process by enabling the Collect Points Active option. And select the points to be tracked by placing the crosshair cursor in the center of the track point target and clicking on it. For this tutorial, I'm going to select the target on the car door. Notice the software has placed a blue cross here with the number 0 indicating the first point being tracked. The software has also incremented the current point number from 0 to 1. The current point number can be used to relocate a point in the event I accidentally mismark a point. Let me quickly show you this by relocating the point I just selected. First, I need to select the point I want to relocate from the current point pull down selection list in this case point zero, and replace the point being tracked. Notice how the point has moved to the new location and the current point has incremented. The current point can also be used to delete points by selecting the point from the pull down selection list and clicking the X button. Notice that the point is no longer displayed in the image. Okay, let's go back and reset the point to track the center of the target on the car door. For the second point, I'm going to select the target on the rear panel of the car. But before I do, I want you to notice that the Cine will automatically advance to the next image. This occurs because I set the Auto Advance to Next Image during Collect Points option in the Measurements Preferences. If this option was not enabled, I would have to use the Video Control buttons to advance the Cine one frame. Now that the Cine has advanced one image, I'll mark the exact same points again and continue this process until all the images and all the points within those images have been marked. For time purposes, I have edited the process of collecting these points to the last couple of images. Since there might be thousands of frames in the Cine, it's more than likely you won't be able to collect all the points in the entire Cine in one session. Don't worry, you can continue at a later date. However, you will have to know the image number you want to restart at and save the collected or tracked points by clicking the Save File button and select the Save Points file from the pull down selection list. To demonstrate this, I'm going to close the PCC application, then reopen it. In the event that PCC was used in the interim, 
I would need to reopen the cine I was tracking the collect points from. Reapply the desired image processing effects. Enter the image number to restart with in the jump field and hit the enter key. For this demonstration, image number negative 3157. And center the targets in the plate panel. If the collect points feature was disabled and the file path is no longer displayed in the path and file field, I will need to click the dot 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 button to the left of the PPF field. Navigate to the folder containing the collect point file, click the open button, ensure that the points per frame field is correct, and re-enable collect point measurements. Now I can finish tracking the points by continuing the process of marking the track points until all images and all points have been collected. Now that the points have been tracked for each image of the cine, I just want to show you the graphics tool. When the graphics toolbar button is selected, a chart to the right of the cine image displays a graph of the measurement values of all track points specified, thereby providing a quantitative view of the track points simultaneously with the qualitative view of the cine images. The displayed values take into account the global measurement preferences for each track point x-axis position, y-axis position, x-axis speed, y-axis speed, x-axis acceleration, or the y-axis acceleration. The software also assigns each track point a unique color which could be selected to display or not. The numbers below the chart are the frames or image numbers of the CINE file. The numbers to the left represent the calculated track point values defined in the Manager Application Preferences Measurement Units group. The green line, visible in the zoom view, represents the position of the trigger frame, and the white line is the current frame position. The dots are the track points. Placing the cursor over a track point displays the following information. IM or image indicates the image number, the specified reference point the signal is associated with. Point or number indicates the associated track point and the calculated value of the point dependent on the chart type, position, speed, or acceleration. The graphic tools will be covered in greater detail in the PCC Graphics Tools tutorial later in this series. Now that the track point information has been collected, I'm going to disable the collect point feature and click the save button and select the save points file option from the pull down selection list. This will sort and optimize the position, the XY coordinates of the track points to the car crash 3 file which we will look at in the CINE Analysis Part 9 Reviewing the Report Files tutorial. Now I want to generate a speed comma separated text delimited file. So I'll click the Save button again and select the Compute Speed file from the pull down selection list. Once again I need to navigate to the folder I want to create the file in. In this example my C colon Program Files Phantom CINES Tutorial CINES folder. and enter the file name car crash 3 speed and click the save button. Finally, I'll click on the save button one more time and select the compute acceleration file command. And once again, I'll navigate to the folder I want the file to be written into.
and assign a file name for the car crash 3 acceleration file. In this case, I'm going to name the file car crash 3 acceleration, then click the save button. We'll review the collect point report files I just created in the CINE analysis part 9, reviewing the report files tutorial. So that concludes the CINE analysis part 8, manually tracking of collect points tutorial where you learned how to manually track up to 99 points per CINE image, use the graphics tool to chart and track points, and save position, speed, and or acceleration comma separated text delimited files that can be imported by third-party software packages to generate report files.